Here we have a linear function written as y equals 3x minus 2. So we have our coordinate plane here, x and y. So uh, how, how I think you should do this is go about um, just by starting with the most simple point. This number here is referred to as our y-intercept. So if you ignore the x term, or in other words, if you plug in 0 for x, what value do we get for y? It's called the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. So here we have the y-axis. The y-intercept is negative 2. So we know that we have one point at negative 2. Now, to draw a line, you can do it two different ways. You can either use two points, we already have one, or one point and the slope. Since it's written in slope-intercept form, which is like this, mx plus c, so c is the y-intercept, m is the slope. If it's written in this form, it's really quite straightforward to just find the next point using the slope. So what that means is we have this 3 being the slope. That means it's a positive, steep graph like this. It means we go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over just 1. So that gives us this point here. So that is the point uh, 1, 1. And once we have two points, that's all you need for a line. Nothing more complicated than that. And I'll just try and connect them like this. So what you might want to do with this point is check a couple of points. So we've already seen that if we plug in 0, we have uh, y equals 3 times 0 minus 2 equals negative 2. So that's what we got for y. If we just try maybe one more, if we plug in y equals uh, 2, uh, 2 times x, we have 3 times 2 minus 2. That gives us 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2, which is 4. So let's just see if that uh, shows up on here as well. So now our x was 2 that we guessed, and our y was 4. So at 2, does it make it to 4? Yeah, it seems like this is heading exactly towards that point. So it's not perfect, but you can see you can check for any value, and it does lie on this line.